Yeah, I mean, if I'm being honest, I kind of get a little bit annoyed with constant conspiracy theories about things being limited hangouts. Not that limited hangouts can never happen, but I mean, if you're just constantly going around saying that every little thing is a limited hangout, A, it's extremely depressing, but B, I think it describes a lot more intelligence and an ability to construct very sophisticated um, like schemes. Uh, and I don't think that that the people in government usually have this. Like, if you think about the schemes that they've actually pulled off, like the COVID lockdowns, all of their justifications and all of their machinations were actually extremely easy to point out and disprove. Mm. So I think if they're saying, oh, they're, they're, they're so capable of doing this very sophisticated limited hangout, and just every time we think we've got a little crumb, actually it's just the tip of the iceberg or it's completely fake. <laughs> well, that, those I, aren't the only I, two I, tools in the toolbox. I, I that's a very black-pilled perspective and not really a helpful one. Th those aren't the only two tools in the toolbox. You know, So the whole COVID lockdown thing, that was mass formation psychosis. Right. Because yeah. that was, you know, we put out a, a unified message on you know, radio, TV, social media. And obviously, you know, all the so-called influencers, you know, your Hollywood types and your social media people, all those, they're going to parrot that stuff anyways, because it, it's going to come off as news and they're cutting edge. And, hey, you know, these are scary times. We're all in this together. Tune into me for some kind of nuance. You know, that that was just that's a whole different thing. You know, the limited hangout is going to be more of like a, it's a whistleblower that's coming out that it doesn't have the whole story. And it's for one purpose or another, it can either be to totally disturb us to try to coax us into some kind of action mm -hmm. or they can then clamp down on our reaction to the news, or it can scare us another direction to where you know we'll start behaving a certain way because oh they're they're doing this and that's scary i'm staying away from that right my my point with bringing up the lockdowns is that for anybody who is doing real journalism or cared to look all of the evidence about the lockdowns not being effective or about all the side effects of the vaccines those were easily discoverable if you cared to look so what we're really saying is that all of the serious journalists that there are all the glenn greenwalds and Seymour Hershey's of the world. They are all out there looking at the surveillance stuff and they're still not able to, to discover it.